hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in for another video today we are back in party mode and we are at the computer so that i can go ahead and print this pdf image that i turned into basically an svg on my own for free so steps that would be in another video because it took me like an hour maybe two it takes me a while to make these, but this is my second one, and I think I kind of got the hang of it now. As long as it's a really good PDF, you will have no issues doing this by yourself. But now that we have this image, we're going to go ahead and make it and let Cricut take it over to the mats so that I can arrange it the way that I want. Now this one has a little bitty dot that I had to make because for some reason this wouldn't allow me to turn it white. That's what I was talking about with the bad PDFs. But we still made it work. The black pieces is three pieces on two sheets. That's fine. This image, by the way, is off the mat and it is 26.5 inches. The red is fine. Everything is also going to be printed on a 12 by 24 mat. Um, the red maybe will be printed on a 12 by 12 because I believe I only have 12 by 12 cardstock in red. So I'm not going to waste time putting it on a 12 by 24 mat. It really doesn't matter. But right now you see me just turning the image so that I can make sure it fits on a 12 by 12 page. See, that stops at 10. I want to move this up so that I'm only on a 12 by 12 cardstock because that's the only cardstock I have for the color orange. So I'm just turning this so that it has enough space and I can make sure I get all my cuts. That looks good. And we're still at 10. So that's going to fit perfectly on the 12 by 12. This one is the skin. That's a tan beige color. That's on a 12 by 24 cardstock. So I'm not concerned about this. But this here is a, the other part of the ear that I had to chop off. Well, I had to slice. But I feel like that's fine. Like we'll have from 17 to 24 left over for another project. Um, the green, that's fine. That's the light green, that's for his tail. The dark green for his tail and then the dark green for his eyes. I'm going to move these eyes up here. Just so I'm not wasting so much cardstock. And this one's going to be on a 12 by 12. So it fits perfectly because it's right above 5. And that is it. So right now I need to lower my mats. So let's get that started. Hey guys, sorry this had to turn into a voiceover. Apparently I had my mic on but i did not have a charge so anyways got this white card stock that i used previously on the cutout that you see behind my cricut but i got it in a variety pack 14.99 at michael's came with a couple colors so when laying my mat i like to put the edge well one corner down Go all the way across it and then lay it down on the mat. That way, I kind of get it really straight on the mat. That's the best way I found. Let me know if you got a better way. I braid it afterwards just to make sure it's stuck on there and I get even cuts. But I just like to go back, verify that I have the right thing on the screen. And go ahead, get my machine ready and start loading. Literally, make sure that you push your mat all the way up against the wheels. Please, 
because I have definitely made the mistake of not doing it and it didn't feed all the way and it started cutting on my mat, the mat itself. So if I showed you my mat, you would be like, what? Anyways, moving forward, we're going to just start cutting. We're going to press the feed button which we already did then i press the c cricket button to get my machine started at least that's how mine is i have the cricket explorer air 2 not sure how all the other machines work i do have a joy but everything's on screen for that you don't have no buttons for that so just pressing that c button getting it started and then i'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through all of my loading of the mats oh forgot to mention i'm gonna go ahead and load a second mat because i did get a set of three from amazon and it was a very good buy so you guys check out the sets of 12 by 24 mats on amazon if you don't have any because they really are a very good deal like i think they were like 12 dollars and you got three of them but yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through it and I'll be back. So now that I have everything lined up, I'm literally going to take some scotch tape. I like to use the gift wrap kind. I just feel like it gives me a better lay. But I literally butt all the cardstock right up to each other. And I take some scotch tape and I just go ahead and tape everything together as you will see. Oh, 
I just literally added some cardboard to the back to create a stand and they stand on their own. Thank you guys again for watching. 